This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and every now and then I run into a very ordinary lock that still puts a smile on my face, and this is one of them. It's a USA lock that was sent to me a long time ago by YouTube user BlackDolphin90, and it's also a great example of why there are country of origin labeling requirements. This thing says USA lock all over it. It's on both sides of the padlock itself, and it's even on the key. But it's not until you flip that key over that you can see this USA lock actually hails from a tiny country sandwiched between South Africa and Mozambique, Swaziland. Now, I'm not sure I'll ever understand what makes lockmakers do things like this. There must be some market in some country in which this makes monetary sense, but it certainly isn't here in the USA, and I doubt it's in Europe either, where Black Dolphin 90 is from. In any case, let's see if we can pick this little bundle of irony open. We have a Master Lock-esque keyway here. So I'm using top of the keyway tension with a 40 thousandths pry bar and a standard hook in 25 thousandths. Okay, nothing on one, nothing on two. Okay, three is binding. Got to click out of three. Four is binding. Okay, I think we got four set. Nothing on five, back to the beginning. Little click out of one, nothing on two. Another click out of three, nothing on four or five. Okay, one is binding tightly now, got a click out of him. And two is binding tightly, and that opened it up. Okay, I could feel a little bit of sloppiness on the ends of the pins, meaning they don't have distinct cuts in them. And that's what made us pick each pin a couple of different times, but certainly not a hard lock to open. In any case, Black Dolphin 90, thank you very much for sending this my way and for putting a smile on my face. To everyone else, if you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.